Hi guys, Lad and Dad here. Well, it's just Lad Dad at the moment. Um, Lad is in the other room. And here we have an unboxing of my brand new phone. So Huawei Mate 20 Pro. Huawei Mate, Huawei Mate 20 Pro. And Lad just peeped his head in. He just said hi. So he said hi to everybody. So this is an unboxing of the Huawei Mate 20 Pro. Recently just come out. Nice shiny packaging. What's that say? Intertech. Satisfaction beyond expectation. One year warranty. VIP services. Triple camera. So it's got triple lens camera. And it comes from Huawei. So here's your packaging. Huawei Mate 20 Pro. So there's a box there. Twilight color. 128 GB ROM, 128 GB RAM, 60 gigabytes of RAM, and it's obviously made in China. So shall we get this? Shall we get this unboxed? Actually, guys, I'm actually filming this on the Mate 10, on my Mate 10, not Mate 10 Pro, my Mate 10. So this is going to be an upgrade. I've had this Mate 10 Pro for a few months, so this is going to be a big upgrade. Let's see what happens. Let's get this unboxed. Let's go. Right, so I have to use my fingernails. Right, here's the packaging. What's that? It's kind of greasy. Why is it? Got, why is the packaging so greasy? And it's inside. Right, so I'm opening it now. Okay, Mate 20 Pro box. There's a bit of a dint there. Obviously, from someone being. Why is it so greasy and it's inside? It's not a very good start, is it? Not a very good start. Okay. So there's your packaging. Let's slide to open. Nice slide there. To reveal. Look at the colour. What's these? Some stickers. Look at that, guys. I don't know if you can notice it. I'm trying not to get a reflection of the camera. It is you. Four lenses there, or three lenses, triple lens, sorry. Like a camera. It's got the curved edges. On and off switch. Volume rocker, which is all in one. Might do a, is that an IR blaster there? Is that an IR blaster? Um, microphone. It doesn't have a. Is the SIM card tray. It's at the bottom. USB-C, but it doesn't have... Oh, I've just turned it on. Guys, I've just turned it on. Look at that. Just turned it on. So let's hope it's got some juice in it. So no headphone jack. Listen to that sound. So Huawei Mate 20 Pro. It measures 6.4 inches. Um, it's AMOLED panel. It's 3120 by 1440 pixel resolution. It supports HDR, HDR. You can watch high quality videos on it. You only need to play 1440p HDR test video from YouTube to see how this will look. So it's powering it on. It has a 4000 milliamp hour battery on it so it's got a big battery it's, it's taking a long time to power up it has it has a notch at the top of the screen it can, contains a 3d depth sensing camera for secure face lock the screen on either side is small um, notification icon next to the permanent bluetooth NFC network battery and time icons the notch can be hidden under the settings so the notch can be hidden under these settings so once it starts powering on We'll see what happens. There you go. Obviously, EMUI. What should we say? Get started. It, what? Hey, wait. Hey, what's happened there? English. Where are we? English. Let's go. Where are we? Where are we? Where are we? Is it United Kingdom? Should we say this? Just check. Let me just have a check. One moment, guys. Just trying to check the settings. 
and get started. I completely have agreed to the terms and conditions. Next. Oh, I've got to skip this. I'll, I'll skip this SIM card setup. You can import your data to this device from any device. Next. It really is nice, guys. Um, skip this so we can get to the next screen. Accept. Skip. No thanks. Data. Right, so there we have it. Nice AMOLED palette. Hannah, look at that, it's quite, I like the curved edges, so that's quite bright for you guys, I like the curved edges of the screen, right, so what else does it do, it has a fingerprint sensor in the actual screen, you won't be able to see it on, on the screen there, but it has a fingerprint sensor on screen, so there's no fingerprint sensor on the back, or anywhere, but it's in within the, within the screen. So the, apparently this, when this, the fingerprint sensor is quite, um, it works quite well. So basically it's run by the Kirin 980 processor with a dual MPU, it's neural processing unit. It control, controls the art, artificial intelligence. So let's see, and it has super fast facial, so this phone actually has facial rec recognition and a finger, fingerprint sens sensor. It's Antutu benchmarks, 3D bench was 273,746. Geekbench 2773 CPU, 3330 single core with a 9791 multi core score. Right, so it's it's very fast. It's, it's, it's run on Android 1.9 Pi and it's e EMUI 9.0. So it's got an October security patch. And it does look. Let's have a look because it turned off. So let's have a look at notification LED. What's this high search? Cancel that. Let's scroll down. Why does that keep going? So there's the notch, the infamous notch, and it can be hidden in settings. Where's the settings here? We'll have to, yeah, there you go. So it's, it's definitely a nice feeling, guys. Nice touch to it. Nice touch to it. Obviously, the three cam so basically on the back you get a standard 40 megapixel cam um, megapixel lens with f 1.8 aperture, 20 megapixel ultra wide lens with f 2.2 aperture, and an 8 megapixel telephoto lens with an f 2.4 aperture. And also, it's got Huawei's artificial intelligence feature as well as artificial image instead AIS, artificial image stabilization, night mode, slow motion video, and a new super macro shot. So that's a bit of a mouthful for you guys. So apparently it takes really good um, pictures, but not the best video. So while we need to short, sort out the video, because it, apparently at night time, the video in 4K, because it sports 4K, is not very good. Not very good at all. So Huawei, if you're watching this video, please sort out your night time videos on this phone. It should be sorted out by that um, software. If someone's going to be paying that much money for this phone, and it is a lot of money for this phone, there's no way that it should have such a bad video, particularly the nighttime video. Nighttime video is awful. Apparently, it's awful. I have to check this out for myself. Um, obviously, the battery life is good, but the, it's the video which I'm reading so much about online that is awful. So, and for someone to be paying so much money for this phone, it's it's not really acceptable, who are we? So I'm going to take talking, taking to Twitter with this, taking to Twitter and taking to a free social media site once I find out more about this um, poor camera, particularly from Huawei. We're actually ripping people off with this camera. So an alternative to this would be obviously the Huawei P20 Pro, which is an old one. One before this, Samsung, Samsung Galaxy Note 9, Pixel 3, and, plus, and probably the OnePlus 6T, which OnePlus 6T and the Google Pixel 3 I think are cheaper. Samsung is a bit more than this, but if this is going to be retailing for, oh gosh, how much is this retailing for? How much is this, how much is this phone retailing for? $1,160. And it's going to have an awful camera. I'm not sure why most people will want to buy this. But anyway, I'm going to give it a try. 
I'm gonna give it a try. And this is my unboxing. Wait a minute, this was one more thing. Let's have a look what's in the packaging. It's all black. What's that inside there? Oh, it's got a case. It's got a plastic case, which it should do. It's got a plastic case, so that sits in there. Obviously, if you drop this, it's all glass. It's got the charger. Apparently, it charges really fast. I think it's something like 0 to, is it 0 to 30 or 0 to 40 in, I don't know how, in half an hour, something like that. Huawei headphones. I'm not sure why you've got headphones here. Are these Bluetooth or something? Why would you have? Oh yeah, sorry, the headphones would, actually, the, this actually is a headphone port for these. So basically, they've got the speaker and the headphone port in there. So I'm not sure how this would sound once this is plugged into there. Again, that's another thing that's we'll have to find out later. This plugs into the, into the USB C USB C port, and it also acts as a speaker. So I'm wondering how loud that would be once this is plugged in. That might be a design flaw. There's a charger, and and this you've got no part of the package in there for actual headphones. Right, guys. That is my unboxing of the Huawei P20 Pro. I'm quite excited for this, but my, my, only, my only letdown would be the video camera. Let's have a look in low light. All right, guys. See you guys next time. Bye.